Hi, I am Vincenzo Riccio from the Software Institute in Lugano, Switzerland. I'm going to present you the research paper on testing deep learning systems accepted at FSC 2020, which I co-authored with Professor Paolo Tonella. In this paper, we propose a novel approach to assess the quality of deep learning systems by exploring their frontier of behaviors through a model-based search algorithm. I will refer to software systems that include one or more deep neural networks as deep learning systems. In this example, we can see a deep learning system able to recognize and written digits trained with the popular MNIST dataset. The unwritten image is correctly classified as a six. Nowadays, deep learning systems are everywhere and they are increasingly adapted also for critical tasks. Therefore, the evaluation of the quality of systems that rely on deep learning has become crucial. Most of the existing approaches for testing deep learning systems directly manipulate raw input data to generate failure-inducing inputs. In this example, the input is perturbed by Deep Explorer so that it changes the behavior of the system, and we can see that the perturbed image is no longer classified as a 6, but as a 7. These perturbed inputs are called adversarial examples. They are useful to measure the system's robustness, but they often represent unrealistic test cases. Our overall goal is to assess the quality of deep learning systems. To this aim, we explore the system's behavior and identify the inputs for which they start to misbehave. To guarantee a meaningful assessment, we generate valid inputs which better resemble real-world data. We have adopted a model-based input generation approach to produce realistic inputs. In the case of the unwritten digit recognition system, we use the inputs available from the MNIST database, which are grayscale bitmaps. We adopt SVG as their model representation, in which each digit is modeled as a sequence of Bezier segments. Instead of perturbing the bitmap, we manipulate the model by changing the coordinates of the points of the segments. In the case of the autonomous vehicle, the test scenario can be represented as a road in which the car should keep the right lane without going astray. The road's shape is modeled as a catamaran spline, and we manipulate the model by changing the coordinates of the control points of the center line. In this work, we introduce the notion of frontier of behaviors which separates inputs that trigger correct behaviors of the deep learning system from the ones that trigger incorrect behaviors. For instance, the frontier of a handwritten digits classifier is identified by pairs of input digits that are similar to each other and are classified differently, one correctly and the other one incorrectly. In this example, we take one five digit from MNIST. We aim at finding pairs of inputs that are similar to each other, but are classified differently. One as a five and the other one as a nine in this example. This is called a frontier input pair. 
The inputs at the frontier can be analyzed with respect to the input validity domain. If the failure inducing input is outside the validity domain of the system, the system misbehaves for an invalid input and the quality check is passed by the system. If the misbehaving input is inside the validity domain, it represents a quality deficiency of the system. The quality of deep learning systems is determined by the intersection between their validity domain and the regions of the behavioral space where they exhibit a misbehavior. On the left, the frontier of behaviors of a low quality deep learning system includes inputs that are inside the validity domain. They are inputs for which the system is expected to behave correctly. On the right, a deep learning system of high quality starts to misbehave for inputs that deviate substantially from the nominal ones with small or no intersection with the validity domain. The frontier inputs allow a quantitative assessment of the quality of the system. To this aim, we defined the frontier radius metric, which measures the average distance of inputs at the frontier from the reference input omega an elementary nominal input that the system is expected to handle correctly. For a NIST, we considered as reference omega the digits in freestyle script font, converted to the same format as the MNIST dataset. For the lane keeping assist system, we considered as reference omega the straight road instead. The frontier inputs also allow a qualitative assessment. We can see that a low quality system misbehave for frontier inputs that are similar to the original seed and can still be considered inside the validity domain, as happens for the third image from the left. This suggests a poor generalization capability of the low quality system. Whereas the high quality system misbehaves for frontier inputs that are difficult to handle also for humans. As an example, the fifth image from the left is hardly recognizable as a five. We propose an approach to generate frontier input pairs. They should be diverse in order to have a for our frontier exploration, close to the frontier, and we aim at maintaining a nice similarity within each pair. Therefore, the problem we want to solve can be cast as a multi-objective search problem hybridized with novelty search. We implemented our approach in a tool named Deep Janus. It starts from original seeds for which the system behaves correctly. The population is initialized by creating input pairs. A mutation operator manipulates one member of the individual to explore the behavioral space. The behavior of the new mutant individuals are evaluated by measuring the closeness to the frontier, the distance within each pair, and the diversity from the current solutions. Their behavior is checked against the deep learning system, and if one behaves correctly and the other one triggers a failure, as happens in this example, the individual is a candidate to enter the archival solutions, in which happens a local competition to keep the best solutions. The new population is chosen by applying the selection operator, and the algorithm continues iteratively. We evaluated the deep genus on two deep learning systems. MNIST, an handwritten digit classifier, and BIMNG, 
a safety critical lane, lane keeping assist system, which we evaluated in the BeamNG simulation environment. For each system, we considered a high quality version and a low quality version of it. We evaluated the effectiveness of our approach by analyzing for each system the intersection between the frontier reported by DeepGenus and the input validity domain. For MNIST, we selected 180 frontier inputs found by DeepGenus for which the system misbehaves. 90 for the high quality version and 90 for the low quality one. We then asked the 20 human evaluators to classify them. If they answered with the expected label, the frontier input is valid, but the system cannot handle it properly. If their answer is different from the expected label, the frontier input is considered invalid. The results show that the low quality version has a larger intersection with the set of valid frontier inputs than the MNIST high quality version. For BMNG, we considered the frontier inputs for which the system misbehaves. We considered valid the roads that comply with the American guidelines on geometric design of highways. The results confirm that when the quality of the system under test is lower, there are more misbehaving elements at the frontier that are also valid. We then evaluated the ability of DeepGenus to differentiate a low-quality deep learning system from an high-quality one. We conducted a survey involving 40 different humans in which they performed pairways comparisons between an input from the high quality system and one frontier input from the low quality one to assess which was the most challenging between them. For both MNIST and BMNG systems, the large majority of the participants voted for the frontier input from the high quality version. From a qualitative point of view, we can say that the frontier inputs from the high quality versions were deemed to be more challenging to humans than those from the low quality ones. From a quantitative point of view, the radius of the high quality versions is significantly larger than the one of the low quality versions. Therefore, the frontier of behaviors allows to differentiate high quality from low quality systems. Finally, we compared the deep genus with the state of the art tool DLFAS a tool that does raw input data manipulation to find system failures. We can see that both for the low quality and the high quality versions, the frontier radius of deep genus is larger than the one of DLFAS. We can conclude that deep genus explores a significantly larger frontier than DLFAS. If we compare the same seed manipulated by the two approaches from a qualitative point of view, we can see that the images generated by the alphas look like blurred, noisy versions of the original ones. Instead, the images generated by Deep Genus are more realistic and simulate the traits that can be found in a handwritten digit. In this presentation, I showed you our notion of the frontier of behaviors of deep learning systems and the deep genus tool to explore the frontier of behaviors of the system under test. We performed an experiment in which we showed how deep genus is useful to evaluate the quality of the deep learning system and how it performs the state of the art tool. We made our tool and the experimental data available as open source, and you can access them by scanning this QR code. 
We invite you to try them out 